Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for joining. I apologize for being late. Had to jump off of another call. Um, so we're going to go right at it and get to the status of COVID in the New River Health District. We do have our epi curve slides this week. So if you look at district wide, you're, you're going to see for the New River Health District that we are past the peak that we expected after the holidays and overall cases are in a decline. Montgomery County, if we look at that one, um, you can see we've plateaued. The next slide shows Radford City, which has gone down. And then if we go through Floyd um, and then Giles and Pulaski counties, all seeing a, a drop in new cases reported, um, showing that we're past our holiday bump. If you look at the, the age trends, our, our zero to 17 year olds, it, it's on par with what the community trends are. We're decreasing from the holidays. You know, I will say with all the focus on vaccines, we still are doing in case investigations and we're doing contact tracing. We are really seeing limited to no spread in school amongst our students or from our students to our staff. We've had clusters related to, as we've said before, sleepovers and carpooling, and we've seen mainly household spread, not unexpectedly. So going to our 18 to 24 year old population, you know, our cases have remained relatively stable. We are not seeing a major spike from the students returning from the spring semester. We, we did not expect to see that. The universities are continuing to do a great job of reminding their students to remain vigilant and try to prevent the spread of disease. Uh, you know, we're all in it together. If we go to our 25 to 59 year old group, that's been our highest spread for several weeks now. That's our working aged folks, but it overall is declining. We're uh, still finding that in our workplaces, the transmission is, is from those same things. It's from carpooling, break room exp exposures, uh, and poor adherence to our best practices. Uh, you know, that's been the primary driver for weeks, you know, social gatherings, household spread, and, and religious events kind of stay up there on the, on the top. Our older folks, our 60 plus population, we did have a holiday bump in our most vulnerable group. Uh, I think everyone knows we like uh, pretty much everywhere else has had multiple nursing home outbreaks. Uh, Non-nursing home cases, again, it's household spread, it's social gatherings, it's religious activities. We continue to put uh, significant efforts into vaccinating our elderly, both in our nursing facilities and in the community. Uh, we're collaborating with our pharmacy partners to continue to do this, and, and we expect that with aggressive vaccine coverage, our hospitalizations and deaths are going to decrease significantly.